Welcome back to Manchester, a city which needs more people filming it. And uh, I just want to commend Boom Mic Man with his red trainers on. He's doing a great job holding that microphone steadily next to the interviewee. And uh, 2024, and we've still got big shoulder-mounted cameras. Why not? When you need the guy in the flat cap in the most ultra, ultra, ultra resolution and bitrate. Oh, there you go. It's all over. Well done. Hmm. They are not walking with intent. They are the exact same height. Okay, viewers, welcome to South Radford Street here in Salford. There's been a bit of an incident, and uh, I can't believe young Ryan, who is now a full-blown, not just a young apprentice winner of the best young photographer of the year, he's now a full-blown news newsman. Look at him go, look at that. I thought I was fast to the scene, but anyway, something bad has happened. Um, we're not going to leave the car because there's a, quite an emotional gaggle of people, some of them in pyjamas, some of them looking like they're going to sell me a 20 bag or, or rob me at knife point for trying to buy a 20 bag. So because of that, for the safety of myself <laughs> and Laura and the baby, um, we're going to leave uh, young Ryan to do all the risk here. He can face the angry peasants and the plebs and the kind of the d demandingly angry people. But uh, I think there's been a murder or something really serious because they wouldn't have sent the best young photographer of the year to come and cover it, unless it was something good. Okay, I've had to put the air conditioning on because it's uh, a bit sweaty in the Volvo. But uh, maybe I was a bit harsh on these people. Maybe they'd only sell me a 10 bag and they wouldn't rob me. Maybe I'm just, you know, being a bit unfair. can't believe I was uh, here reporting and I forgot to comment on this uh, very, very used mattress here on the ground. I mean, I've not seen a, a mattress like that since, uh, since Vegas in 2003 when it all went wrong for the beach. Yeah, 2003 uh, Marriott in Las Vegas and uh, trying to check out and the angry man goes, uh, Mr. Veach, Mr. Veach, what have you done to the mattress? These are not the hoof prints of a typical British tourist. And I said, uh, I'm not doing tourism, am I? All right, the bikes and the scooters have arrived. Everyone's up for a bit of a rubbernecking the murder. Rubbernecking the murder. If we're lucky, guys, there'll be a fight breakout. Rolling pins, sandals, 18-inch machetes. You know, usual, usual uh, council estate stuff here in the UK. Okay, we've been outside the house uh, trying to leave, but Big Donna... She is now uh, the local detective. She's filling in all the drivers about what's happening, where you can go. But if you look at this road here, it's one of these priority over oncoming vehicles. And uh, we want to leave, but Big Donna is uh, she's uh, spreading the word to the Puma vehicle. South Radford Street. Radford, Marcus Radford, crashed his uh, Mansouri Rolls Royce. And then that guy on YouTube fixed it up. Now, uh, oh, the sigh of no focus. So, now that we have focus, by the time you guys watch this, we'll know. And as soon as I know, I'll add it to the video. But if you don't know, and you've not been keeping up with the news of the plebs in, in uh, Salford, my guess it's a murder. But it's a, it's a family affair. Look, they brought the toddlers out, the bikes, the scooters. Everyone's coming out. Bring the babies. Okay, we've moved to a different vantage point because the locals are revolting. Not just that they smell and they're ugly, they're actually going up in revolt. And uh, they get very territorial. This is our community. This is our murder. Mada. Anyway, the Peugeot 308 you see in the front there, the two female detectives are coming to chat to the two. Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? There we go. And, uh,. No statement by the police yet, nothing in the newspapers. And uh, I would go and ask these people, but but look at them. Look at them. They wouldn't tell me the truth. <laughs> anyway, I am only half joking. I'm not this much against anyone. I'm just adding adding to the drama of the situation. It's uh, 
Oh god, um, he's gonna come and sell me a 20 bag, this one. Hey mate, you want some crack? You want some crack, mate? Oh. I look down for one second, Laura goes, We've been busted, they've seen us filming. Good. People who earn money from the public purse should not be scared of the public. It's as simple as that. If you earn money from the public purse, you got to accept the public. It's kind of like famous people. You got to pose for that photograph with your viewers and your fans. You can't, you can't like, you can't shit where you eat and you can't bite the hand that feeds you. Uh oh. I feel slightly reassured that there's some detectives here so that if they swarm around the car, we might get saved. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm exaggerating a bit. It's not that dangerous in Salford, but obviously, I speak from experience. You come to an event like this, and uh, emotions are very high. And a lot of time, the Louises and the Donnas, they don't know why they're feeling emotional. And so any scapegoat, like the guy with the funny Scottish-American accent with a camera, what are you doing? Okay, actual line of sight. A real line of sight. And uh, the lady's still outside the, the house. And our detectives are like, they're like, oh shit, we're going to have to detect someone here. There's been a murder. We're going to have to detect Summit. In focus. Come on, camera. And, uh, yeah. They're working. Oh, they've noticed me. It's okay. They should be nice to the public. Laura's just asked, why are they so skittish? Oh, she's still still giving me death stares, the grey-haired woman. Feeble little makeups in a zoo. And they're like, shit, can we go shout at him? Maybe he's got his engine switched on. Who else is staring? Who else is staring? How about peroxide? Is she having a stare? All right, I think our work's done here, guys. I'll get you guys an update from somewhere else. The vibrations are turning nasty. I've just been banned. Banned from the premier hotel, bowling beer hall, food hall. That's like a big regenerated place here by the Boland Brewery people. So to cut a long story short, see that hotel there? 1832 Spinning Block. In August, I stayed there. Well, I tried to stay there. Um, it all went horribly wrong. They left me stranded at 1 a.m. I did a video about it, which I will remember to link below if you want to watch that. Anyway, we come here to the beer hall all the time. Uh, Laura, myself, and now obviously Ralph, the baby. We go there for lunch, we go there for dinner, go there for soft drinks. We're not much drinkers, so we don't really drink the beer in the beer hall. So since I made the video, which has been seen now by over 100,000 people, thank you, um, I've been there for food, and uh, it was fine. I thought, surely nothing bad can happen. I did a video, politely and uh, peacefully explaining what happened to me, and that I was disappointed. And for that, for that, the management... They took me, we went there successfully, we ate, Then the next time in September, this is after the video, we came and the lumberjack manager, you know, kind of lumberjack shirt, beard, took me aside and he goes, I need to have a word with you uh, away from your lady and your baby. I said, no, there's no secrets here. He goes, come outside, I want to have a word with you. I was like, no, you can tell me here, like, Laura's right here, you can just tell me. And he goes, I'm afraid you're not welcome here anymore because you really upset the receptionist at the uh, sister business, the 1832 spinning block. I was like, what? I was like, you're joking. This is like a September joke. And he's like, no. It was horrible what you did, Charles. Like, horrible. I said I would. When they were mistreating me, stranding me at 1 a.m., refusing to help, I said, look, please don't make me do a video about this. They're like, don't care. Do you video? Who cares? No one's going to watch it anyway. 100,000 people watched it. And for that bit of free speech, giving feedback, feedback. <sighs> I've stayed in that hotel before. My five-star review's still there. I've not deleted it. I gave feedback. I even said in my video, I don't want to affect their business. I don't want you guys to cancel your bookings. I just want to get my word out. And for getting my word out, the beer hall has banned the Veach. 
They have an everyman cinema attached here as well. I'm not sure if I'm banned from there as well. Although being Scottish, I do uh, struggle to spend 14 pounds a ticket. Even if you're allowed to take a beer in, I struggle with that. Um, as a Scotsman, I like free. I like piracy, RR. I like haggis. I like whiskey. What I mean by liking piracy, I'm gonna watch myself here. I mean, obviously, you know, um, sailors on the open seas uh, dominating other lesser boats and uh, bringing Darwinian uh, natural selection to the ocean. What would Poseidon say? Like, uh, I can't support media piracy because I would be a hypocrite. So I can't officially support it. Officially. So, uh, we get home, and uh, the police, Greater Manchester Police, Laura's asked me to get some plants in, so I'll get Pepe, Pepe and the plants, we'll get, we'll get all the plants in. She's like, do it by the window, you get the plants in. Okay. <laughs> so, um, get the badge in, no, get I was wrong. Get the what? Get the badge in, no, get the plants in. That's it. Flash your plants, Charlie. Just flash. Look at this. See this little, little cactus that I rescued from Salford. Anyway, um, fucking hell. Are they going to watch this? 30 seconds like, without that. I thought it was a murder, and it uh, turns out it's an ongoing incident. You know, the one on South Radford Street with all the Donners and the Connors and the people and the people outside and detectives. Turns out it's an ongoing scene. There's a very politically correct, the British police. There's an ongoing concern for welfare. Ongoing concern for welfare. So my theory is there's someone in that house threatening to do something to themselves that most people probably wouldn't want someone to do to themselves because it's quite traumatic. And uh, I'm not talking about masturbation, um, even though it is traumatic. Um, so the police are all there. They've cordoned it all off. There's a whole bunch of people outside. And uh, uh, ongoing concern for welfare. Usually it's something to do with mental health. And um, someone is uh, practicing or threatening to Harry Kiri themselves. Someone, if you prefer, that's maybe a bit too technical Japanese. Someone is threatening to kamikaze themselves. Now, before all the people, oh, Charlie's so insensitive. Look, he's, he's making videos. He's uh, taking advantage of people's trauma. Well, sorry to announce this. I am Randy Pan, the fucking truth man. Life is trauma. Everything's a news story. The Manchester Evening News were there with photographers. And uh, I have, uh, do you want to know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin uh, playing for the concerns of those who think I'm, uh, the world is trauma. And uh, either you surf the Kali Yuga or you just get drowned by it. Surf's up, baby.